See this? This is a battery that's exploded. If you leave your batteries inside your transistor radio or your effect pedals, now this is true for 9 volts too, you're going to get that white stuff come out that's actually acid. And inside your precious old pedal uh, would be acid that gets inside and that's going to do no good to the pedal. So make sure for storage as you're storing your old pedals that you get in there, get a screwdriver, take the back off and get your 9 volt batteries out of there. Don't leave your pedals with the battery in storage. Some of you might have a collection of, I've got a few Klon Centaurs, uh, Ibanez Tube Screamers. Those are the kind of things you got to get the battery out of there because it would be impossible to fix those. You don't want to damage the unit. So for all, for all of you with old, cool old pedals, get those batteries out of there. Another thing, if you're having acoustic guitars around, especially a 12 string, you want to bring the tuning down. Not all the way so it's flat. That, sorry, that all the way slack means the truss rod is going to get its way. And the truss rod, which is now fighting against the tension, will get its way and it will create a warp in the guitar. You don't want that. Uh, also, if it's too full tension, you're going to have the neck pull forward and pull the neck away from the body. So if you're storing your guitars, you bring it down a half step or a full step, especially 12 strings. Put them away, slack up some strings, but not fully slacked, just a bit. Ease up on the tension for your 12 string guitars. By the way, this is a... And Larabe we got in recently, that's just a fantastic all wood Dove jointed guitar. Uh, love it. Um, now, on electrics, it's a little less of an issue, especially electrics like this beautiful new Nash guitar with a uh, vibrato, because the vibrato kind of gives it up. Your electric guitars are stored with nines or tens. Those really don't have enough tension uh, to affect it. But if you're playing 12s, 11s, 13s on your guitars and you decide to put them away for a while, make sure that you slack them up not all the way. It shouldn't be slacked. It should be down a full step to ease up and give the truss rod, fight against the truss rod a little bit. Last thing I want to share with you, for those of you that have vintage amplifiers, a lot of us have old amplifiers and we'll tuck them away. Uh, you may or may not collect amps, but a lot of us have small amp, slightly bigger amp, etc. Right? Make sure if you have your amplifier that you turn it down to zero before you turn it on. If you have a standby, use that standby, but you're going to turn the amp on, leave it on zero. I like to just give an initial sh sh um, jolt to the amplifier and turn it off and wait. You have filter caps inside of there, and the filter caps will dry out. You want to get a little bit of juice inside of the amplifier. Let it kind of soak it in. You might think of it as a dry sponge. But make sure not to turn your amp up all the way and turn it on if it's been in storage for a while. This is true if you approach any old amp. Are you going out to your uncle's house to try an amp that he put away 20 years ago? Turn the amp to zero. Turn the amp on. Let it sit for a while. Don't bring it up right away. Let the circuit kind of warm up so you don't blow up those filter caps. Don't go straight to it and then ease it in gently. You can even use a voltage regulator on your amplifiers, but I won't go into that right now. This is just your normal day-to-day -day care because you're all at home. Got that? Old batteries, bad. Big old strings, bad. Turning on old amps and turning them up to 10 right away after storage, bad. Get the message? This is Willie from Willie's American Guitars. Thank you.